Why does the sun come out during the day and not at night when we actually need the light? The film opens two weeks following an assault on fortress camp in Kazal, Russia. Sasha, feeling frail and disturbed, encounters Russian thugs in her room. They start talking, and to highlight Sasha's terror, they film a video of them harassing her, causing her to yell out. Then Robert arrives, stepping in by eliminating one of the thugs. He confronts another, attacking him with a knife. However, Robert gets shot from behind by a different thug. Even so, he fights back, injuring the shooter, and then flees with Sasha, marking the start of their story. After the harrowing experience at Fortress Camp, Sasha finds it hard to sleep. Two weeks later, as everyone gets ready to leave the camp, Kate takes the lead in arranging things. Paul joins her, and they talk about keeping things organized. During their chat, a still-shaken Sasha joins and shares her difficulties. Kate shows understanding towards her tough situation. Later, Sasha approaches Robert for explanations, and Paul fills her in before she departs. In another discussion between Kate and Paul, it's disclosed that Robert is the one who rescued Kate by taking out her husband. This reveal is followed by a kiss between Kate and Paul. Elsewhere, a girl finds explosives in a box, prompting Kate to tell her to handle them with care and move them somewhere safer. In the medical area, Sasha thanks Robert, who's receiving treatment for a bullet wound. Robert apologizes for taking Sasha's husband's life and kisses her hand hoping for forgiveness. A month prior, Frederick admitted defeat to Robert, asking for assistance to save his wife from the Russians. Robert agreed, but ended up shooting Frederick. Back in the medical area, Sasha contemplates Frederick's complex character, and Robert looks after her, hoping she'll eventually heal from her painful memories. She believes that everything will eventually be all right. In the story, Kate tells Paul that her mother is coming to the place where she found out about the attack, sharing her anxiety and her wish for Paul to be there with her. Paul, thrilled, looks forward to meeting Kate's mom. Ken heads to the airport to fetch Kate's mother, Carol. Carol compliments Ken, introduces him to her daughter, Zoe, and they chat about Ken's time in the military and the recent perilous events at Fortress Camp during their ride. Upon their safe arrival at Fortress Camp, Carol, although a bit reassured, shows concern about the risks her daughter Kate is facing. She admires Kate greatly, praising her as the best. Meanwhile, Robert gets in touch with an officer, who assures him that his task will be completed soon, which makes him happy. Ken drives them to Fortress Camp's entrance, where they're led in by the guards. Inside, they head to a secure cabin, which was in great condition just a week ago. Carol enjoys the view as they walk to the office. Kate... Paul and Zoe welcome Carol, and there's a joyful atmosphere during their reunion. Kate then directs everyone to their rooms, and Carol expresses a wish to explore the area. Kate introduces Robert to Carol, and Robert is impressed by Kate's smart and efficient handling of things. Carol and Robert have a conversation, with Carol showing concern for him. He reminisces about the incident a month back, when Ulysses was killed while trying to take Kate and Paul away highlighting Kate's courage in that scenario. At dinner, the mood is cheerful. Paul motivates everyone to relish the meal, while a weary Sasha decides to go to bed early. Carol asks about Sasha, and Paul tells her how Robert saved Sasha from Russian thugs, eliciting positive responses from the group. Later, under surveillance by a camera, Sasha uses a torch to send signals from outside the fortress. Inside, Zoe and Paul finish their meals. Carol praises Paul, pleasing Kate, and they share their happiness with each other. As the story progresses, Paul is busy with his remote work, while Kate talks about making plans for their life after they leave the fortress. Carol shows her worry for Sasha, and intends to discuss work matters with Kate the next day. During the night, a drone monitors the fortress, and Ken visits Janice, who compliments the evening's meal. Ken shares his wish to explore beyond their current location, and Janice recounts her childhood travels with her father. Ken then proposes a trip to Paris with Janice, and they both agree, ending their night with a romantic moment. The following morning, Robert complains about the quality of the food, prompting Paul to humorously suggest that even Russian prison food might be an improvement. They enjoy a light-hearted moment, and Paul confides in Robert about his hopes to build a future with Kate. Robert, who is fond of Kate, advises Paul to be a good partner to her. 
However, their day takes a grim turn when they find one of the guards murdered by thugs, and another guard is subsequently killed. Meanwhile, Kate, Paul, and others are getting ready for an outing, with Ken showing excitement for the trip. Amidst this, Zoe steps away to the washroom. Suddenly, vehicles full of thugs arrive and launch an attack, killing the fortress guards. Amidst the chaos, Paul rushes to ensure Zoe's safety in the washroom. The intruders take control of the premises, detaining everyone. Bristow, one of the goons, confronts Kate menacingly. In a tense standoff, Paul manages to disarm Bristow, but is then forced to surrender his weapon. The situation escalates as Jenis and others try to escape, leading to their shooting by the thugs. Ken is left heartbroken by Jenis's untimely death. The narrative takes a dark and dangerous turn as the characters find themselves in a critical and threatening situation. Zoe tries to escape through a tunnel in the washroom, while Robert is stunned to run into Frederick. They both reach the office, only to find Jenis's dead body. Robert mourns her death, but is taken aback when Frederick indicates that everything has now been resolved. Frederick then conveys this to Sasha, who extends her apologies to everyone involved. In this tense part of the narrative, Sasha tries to persuade Frederick not to engage in more violence, but he is conflicted, driven by his desire for revenge and his need for money. He reaches out to Ulysses, who shockingly turns out to be still alive. They conspire against Paul, leading to a startling event where Ulysses shows up and assassinates Paul. Following this, Frederick captures Kate and Sasha attempts to defuse the situation, with Frederick emphasizing the need for trust. The group is then separated by Frederick's men. Kate is confined and tied up in a room, where her ordeal is being recorded. Meanwhile, Paul is also restrained and held in the same place as Frederick. When Paul asks about Kate, Frederick menacingly shows a knife, suggesting that she's in imminent danger. Denton has set up a computer system, and Frederick demands Paul to access his money. Paul reveals that his account has been blocked by the government, freezing the funds. However, Frederick laughs off this claim, stating that Denton has already informed him that the money is still there but just locked. Denton, though, fails to unlock the account. To coerce Paul into cooperating, Frederick shows him a distressing video of Kate. This deeply affects Paul, leaving him heartbroken. Sasha, observing this, is reminded of her own traumatic experience in a Russian prison and departs from the scene. In another part of the location, two thugs interrogate Ken about his military past, learning that he used to be in the army. The thugs, former Marines themselves, plot to eliminate Ken. Meanwhile, Carol, who is tied to a chair, questions Robert about Frederick's intentions. Robert explains that Frederick's goal is to retrieve the money from them. In this high-stress situation, Paul eventually gives in and accesses his account, showing the funds. But Frederick, still unsatisfied, threatens Paul with a knife to his throat, demanding information about additional money. Paul maintains that the government must have seized the rest of the funds. Frederick then gives Paul a grave warning. If he's wrong about the money, his life is at risk, and he orders Paul to transfer the remaining funds. In this action-packed segment, Paul cleverly creates a diversion to escape by pretending to need the bathroom, bringing a goon with him. Inside, he finds a hidden tunnel and vanishes, leaving the goon confused upon breaking into the bathroom and finding it empty. At the same time, Ken, who is being held by two goons, ingeniously uses a screw to free himself and manages to overpower the goons. In another part of the fortress, Paul is caught and sedated by a guard with a tranquilizer. However, Zoe comes to his rescue, knocking out the guard and hiding Paul. She then moves on to rescue Kate. Meanwhile, Kate, who is tied up near Ulysses, is approached by Bristow, who informs Ulysses that Frederick has summoned him. Bristow's sudden news shocks Ulysses. After leaving Ulysses, Bristow unexpectedly assaults and incapacitates Frederick, then turns his attention to Kate, making inappropriate remarks and disabling the camera. Elsewhere, Denton and Frederick notice a laptop showing active work. Denton points this out, prompting Frederick to investigate, while Denton is sent to check on Paul. Denton finds the washroom empty and, discovering a secret passage, emerges to find a goon knocked out. He revives the goon, and they start searching for Paul. 
When they return to Frederick, they find that Paul has escaped. Frederick, surprisingly unfazed, orders them to find Paul. Haunted by her past experiences in a Russian prison, Sasha roams outside, troubled by her memories of past torture. She continues forward, burdened by her traumatic past. Concurrently, Risto unties Kate and makes inappropriate advances towards her. Sasha steps in just in time, subduing Bristow and rendering him unconscious. Zoe and Ken meet up, sharing updates on their respective situations. Zoe reveals her plan to save Kate, who is being held in the painting room. Ken, realizing the distance, spots a quad bike nearby. They decide to use it to head towards the location. However, as they near the vehicles, they are suddenly attacked by Goon. In this thrilling sequence, Ken and Zoe quickly mount the bike to escape with a goon hot on their trail. They head into the forest where the goon relentlessly chases them. Resourcefully, Zoe and Ken set up a trap using a rope, causing the goon to fall. A struggle follows, culminating in Zoe shooting the goon in the head, effectively neutralizing the danger. Ken reassures Zoe that her actions were necessary for their survival. Together, they continue to navigate the perilous environment. Meanwhile, Sasha expresses her remorse to Kate for trusting Frederick, who had promised to only take the money without harming anyone. Kate understands and they share a comforting embrace. Kate then starts to search Bristow's clothes for car keys, hoping to find a way out. In a tense standoff, Frederick confronts Robert with a gun, threatening Carol. Robert defends Carol, asserting her innocence. Frederick, driven by revenge, reveals his plan to kill Paul and Kate. A distraught Carol looks on as Frederick decides against killing Robert, but to torture him instead. Frederick admits that Robert was not just a friend, but also a mentor to him. He then releases Carol and takes her away. Paul, having regained consciousness, re-enters the bathroom via the tunnel. After dealing with a goon, he continues on, armed. Sasha and Kate manage to get the key from Bristow, making their escape before Ulysses wakes up. However, Bristow catches up to them, and just as he's about to attack, Ulysses shoots him. Sasha then confronts Ulysses, who informs Frederick of the situation. Frederick commands that they be brought to him. Robert manages to free himself, leaving Denton unconscious. He encounters Paul and encourages him to keep moving while he heads in a different direction. Ulysses brings Sasha and Kate to the office, where Kate has a reunion with her mother, Carol. Sasha appeals to Frederick, pleading for the safety of everyone. Elsewhere, Ken and Zoe reach the painting house, finding it deserted except for Bristow's body. They take a bike and head towards the office. Amidst the unfolding chaos, a goon captures Paul and brings him to Frederick. In a crucial moment, Robert speaks with Frederick, who seems pleased to hear Robert's voice and asks him to end his life this time. In this climactic moment, Frederick declares his plan to eliminate Paul, but Kate steps in, with Sasha pointing out that their original intention was solely to retrieve the money, not to trap Frederick. Frederick, however, accuses Robert of being the reason Sasha encountered the Russian thugs, which Sasha denies, blaming Frederick for accepting money from the Russians. Frederick tries to justify his actions as being for the benefit of both Robert and Paul, but Sasha argues that he's only acting for his own interests. Frederick then informs them about an incoming helicopter meant for their escape, but Sasha refuses to accompany him, leading to a tense standoff. Suddenly, Kate finds a stun grenade, quickly disposing of it. The grenade detonates, causing panic and prompting everyone to flee. At this crucial juncture, Ken arrives, taking down the goons who are in pursuit. Paul and Kate reunite with a kiss before Paul re-enters the fray, confronting additional goons. Ken aids in the fight, overpowering them one by one. In a revealing moment, Robert tells Frederick that he invested half of his wealth in a government foundation and established a new fortress camp to assist people like Frederick. Robert then takes decisive action, shooting Frederick and triggering a nearby grenade, leading to Frederick's death. Sasha, witnessing this, is overcome with emotion, and Robert empathizes with her pain. As the scene settles, Paul, Kate, and Ken arrive to see the aftermath of Frederick's end. The next day, Carol observes Zoe and Kate together, feeling proud of Kate's accomplishments. However, the story takes a sudden turn when a police car arrives, and Sasha is arrested, 
adding a complex layer to the unfolding narrative. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.